so the regulatory regime it will change and it will change uh, fundamentally what is it going to look like yeah, no, I think that's a good question. Um, the, the collapse of FTX in particular has really brought in the number of policymakers, uh, particularly here in the United States, uh, who are looking at crypto regulation and trying to figure out how to prevent something like this from happening. Uh, in the, at the end of the last Congress in December in Washington, there were three separate congressional hearings to investigate this topic. And I do think lawmakers walked away from those hearings with more questions than answers about how to proceed. Um, I do think there is some consensus that, unrelated to FTX, we do need to have more regulation around stablecoin policy. We probably also need better regulation around spot markets. But when you look at something like FTX, this was a very old-fashioned crime. It, it was fraud. It was taking customer money and gambling with it. This, this isn't something that... Um, you know, needs to be addressed by novel policy. And I think the fact that Sam Makeman fried was arrested so quickly um, and has already been uh, taken into custody in New York shows that, that this is an old-fashioned crime. But it, what it leaves Congress with is um, a, a challenge as they start the new Congress here today in Washington in figuring out what are the gaps that need to be filled. Hi, Kristin. Just jumping in the conversation here. Um, will regulation then take away some of the attraction from the cryptocurrencies? Because I think one of the main attractions for a lot of the holders is the fact that you know, there's hardly any regulation there. Uh, there, is, um, um, there is a lot of privacy. And, and therefore, you know, if you have more of the regulations coming through, could, could, perhaps that makes it, could, could that perhaps make the cryptocurrencies less attractive from that standpoint? Yeah, well, listen, I think the devil's in the details. And you have to remember, internationally, most jurisdictions require a uh, know-your-customer process. This is where you have to collect information on, on who um, is purchasing crypto for the on-ramps and the off-ramps to the cryptocurrency system. But once you're in crypto networks and you're transacting within the crypto ecosystem, those transactions are all recorded on a blockchain. And so while there are some privacy enhanced technologies, most blockchain transactions are incredibly transparent. And so I think a lot of what policymakers are grappling with right now is they want to find the right balance because privacy is important um, and, and the reason law enforcement needs information is important. And with this technology, there needs to be some fresh thinking about how we approach these issues. But I do think if regulation is done correctly, getting back to your question, it would actually bring more consumers into the crypto space because they'll feel more comfortable transacting with crypto um, and they'll right. also bring institutions into this space which i think you know could end up being a boon if, if it's crafted in a way that that is supportive of the ecosystem